In this video, we are going to continue with trigonometric functions. You will find this on page 178 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. In this video, we are going to focus on negative angles. So in general, the angles negative theta or 360 minus negative theta are represented by the same position of OP. By applying the same reasoning as that of the formula for 360 minus theta, we have the following properties for any angle theta in the fourth quadrants. Okay, but can I just can I just show you? Oh, let's just make it a little bit bigger. Let you see better. Okay, so if, if this is theta, this is negative. This is going to be, okay, let's just see. This is 360 minus theta. Okay, so if I'm going to, this is 360 minus theta, but if I go around like this, it's going to be negative in bracket 360 minus theta. Okay, but let's just, let's just go through this list here. So, sin negative theta. Sin, what will sin be? It's going to be negative. Cos, what is cos? Positive. What is tan? Negative. Okay. And th that is for all the quadrants. So, the, basically what we are saying, doesn't ma matter the direction. The cos diagram stays the same. Okay. So, let's look at an example. Then you'll understand it better. In each of the following, express sin theta, cos theta, and tan theta in terms of the ratio of the basic angle. Okay, so this is, theta is negative 70. So this, if, if it's negative 70, it's meaning it's here. So it's going to be negative sin 70, negative um, tan 70, but positive due to the fact of the cost. That the only one positive is cost. Now, if it's negative 120, now where will negative 120? Always find towards the acute angle to the x-axis. So that's 60. So then I start. What again? Think of your cost. Only one positive is going to be tan. So tan 60. The rest will be negative. And always take your acute angle, the angle to the x-axis. Right, now I'm going to work in radians. So again, if this is this is going to be, I think sometimes it's better if you see it like this. It's negative one and a third. Don't forget that this is okay. This is one, and if it's if it's half, so this is pi, and this is two pi. So if it, if if I go around and it's there is one and there is the third. Do you see? So I'm ending up there. And again, if I think of my cost diagram, the only one positive there is going to be sin. Okay, the rest is going to be and always your acute angle. The angle or the basic angle or the reference angle, the angle to the x-axis. And then again, as I said, rather write it right like this. So it's negative 1 and Three quarters. Okay, now where will that? Now that is going to be um, negative one and a half. So three quarters is, but again, take your angle to the x axis. Okay, so this is going to be a quarter. And again, all of them is positive there because of cos. All of them, all is positive. And that's why all of them is positive. Okay, easy. Let's, let's, I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do, um, I think I'm just going to give you the middle two to do. So let's just do number B and number C. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, make a bit smaller just to get space. Okay, let's start. Number B. So, theta is negative 170. Okay, stop there. Make a sketch. It's always going to help you. So, negative 170. Okay, remember that is 
zero. That is not, so if I, okay, now let's rather do it like that. If I go around like this, this will be negative 90. This will be negative 180. So negative 170 will be there. Actually, a bit upper. Let's just undo that. Okay, but doesn't matter. You have the idea. So this angle, if this is going to be, this is going to be negative 170. So this angle towards this one is going to be 10. Right. Again, think of your cost. Um, so the only one that's, and, and always my reference angle or my basic angle is 10. So if I start, I'm going to say it's negative cos 10 degrees negative sin 10 degrees, but positive tan. You don't have to write the positive. Right. That's how you do it. Always take it, and it's, it's connecting to the previous videos, you take your basic angle, the angle towards the x-axis, but you bring your cost, your signs into that. Okay, and then number C. Again, I like to start with a sketch see where it is because that it put, determines the signs uh, and now as I said I prefer that you see that as negative one and a quarter so th there is one and there is two up to there so there is negative one so a quarter it will be in this quadrant see there okay okay so this is going to be pi over 4 in this. So it's negative 1 and a quarter. Okay, and it's in this. This is negative 1 and a quarter, and this is the quarter, the basic angle. Don't forget your cos. Because out of that, you see, the only one that's going to be positive is sin pi over 4. And you always work with that basic angle. Okay, or the reference angle, or the angle towards the x-axis. So it's going to be negative cos pi over 4, negative and pi 4. And that will be my final answer. So make sure that you know when to, the, how to work with it when you go positive, or how to work with it when you go in the negative direction.